fun go good afternoon everyone we are the members of group four and we were assigned the task of explaining how proteins are made our group members include ricky samwaru tanya Badu, emily jadunat divina Passad, and daniel summer before explaining we would like to define the main terms used i will now hand you over to tanya what are proteins according to medland plus Proteins are large, complex molecules that play many critical roles in the body. They do most of the work in cells and are required for the structure, function, and regulation of the body, body tissues and organs. I will now hand you over to Daniel. What is DNA? DNA is hereditary material that is composed of nucleotides. The hereditary material consists of many compo components, but only a portion is passed from the parent to the offspring during the process of reproduction. Although each organism's DNA is unique, all DNA is composed of the same nitrogen-based molecules. There are four different types of DNA nucleotides, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. Adenine has a property that when it's in the double helix, it is always found opposite of thymine. So adenine and thymine pair one on each strand to form AT pairs. Adenine is also used elsewhere in the cell, not just in DNA and RNA, but it's part of the molecule adenosine triphosphate, which is the energy source for the cell. Guanine in the double helix pairs with cytosine. So you will see CG pairs, one on one strand and one on the other. And the CG pairs happen to bind more tightly than the AT pairs. So long stretches of CG make stronger helixes than stretches of AT pairs. I now hand over to Ricky. Messenger RNA. Messenger ribonucleic acid mRNA is an RNA version of the gene that leaves the cell nucleus and moves to the cytoplasm where proteins are made. Ribonucleic acid is a polymeric molecule essential in various biological roles, that is, in coding, decoding, regulation, and expression of genes. Like DNA, RNA is assembled as a chain of nucleotides but unlike DNA, RNA is found in nature as a single strand folded onto itself rather than a pure double strand. Cellular organisms use messenger RNA to convey genetic information using the nitrogenous bases of guanine, uracil, adenine, and cytosine, denoted by the letters G, U, A, and C that direct synthesis of specific proteins. Many viruses encoding their genetic information using an RNA genome or MS mRNA is a single-stranded molecule of RNA that corresponds to a genetic sequence of a gene and is read by a ribosome in the process of synthesizing a protein. The life cycle of an mRNA is in a eukaryotic cell, RNA is transcribed in the nucleus. After processing, it is transported to the cytoplasm and translated by the ribosome. Finally, the mRNA is degraded. I will now hand you over to Livina. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Livina. How are proteins made? Proteins are made through the processes of transcription and translation. Transcription occurs when information in a strand of DNA is copied into a new molecule of messenger RNA. During translation, a cell reads the information in a messenger RNA and uses it to build a protein. I will now hand you over to Divine.
This diagram is a simple representation of the process of protein synthesis. Now, as you can see, at first, the DNA strand replicates itself, meaning it makes a copy of itself. And then through transcription, it forms an RNA strand, or in this case, an mRNA strand. The RNA then synthesizes into a protein by the process of translation. Now, in this diagram, you can see a bit more of what actually happens. Now, after DNA replication, the mRNA strand is formed, as shown in the diagram. Hence, the tran hence transcription takes place. And note that this all happens in the cell nucleus. Now, after the strand is made, it leaves the nucleus and enters the cytoplasm. And this is where the mRNA attaches to a ribosome and forms the protein, as shown in the diagram. This diagram represents what actually happens during transcription and translation. Now for transcription, at the top, it starts off with a single DNA strand which, as I said before, replicates itself and forms mRNA. You can see the mRNA in red in the second part. And as mentioned before, DNA has four nucleotides, which is adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. And you can see them in the sequence shown there as A, T, G, and C. Now, as you should know, a always binds to T, C always binds with G, G to C, and T to A. Now, in the second part, you see the mRNA strand there in red. It gets the nucleotides when it codes with the DNA strand. But in this case, instead of having the T, which is thymine nucleotide, it is replaced with the uracil, which is represented by U. So you can see that the T binds with the A, the A binds with the U, which replaces the T, the G binds with the C, and the T binds with the A, and so on. Now, this is how the mRNA transcript is formed. That is the third part. And after the mRNA comes out of the nucleus, it has to produce amino acid chains. And this is where translation happens. So the codes for translation is three bases each, which would be a triplet code. And if you look to your bottom right, you could see the triplet codes there. And these bases form amino acids, which is methionine, um, isoleucine, and serine. Now, there are many different types of amino acids, but in this case, we have those three. <laughs> so, the triplet codes are called the codons. So, the codons for methionine is AUG. There are many others, but this one shows AUG. And the same goes for the other two. Now, the this will continue until it gets to the stack codon. Now, if you look at the last codon, which is UAA, this is a stack codon. Now, there are three stack codons. It has UAG, UGA, and UAA. And this is not associated with the string of amino acids, so it stops the production of the string. Now, and the string that is formed is the poly peptide, which is the protein. I'll now hand you over to Tanya. In conclusion, proteins are made by a two-step process, namely transcription and translation. During transcription, a gene sequence copies itself and forms 
the messenger RNA, which then leaves the cell nucleus and enters the cytoplasm to undergo translation. That is where the guidance takes place for the formation of amino acids and combine to form proteins. This is the end of our presentation.